Welcome to the National Center for Civil and Human Rights. On your tour today, you will experience the realities and events of the American Civil Rights Movement and learn how it's connected to the global human rights movements today. The center was established in 2007 with a simple yet profound mission to empower everyone to take personally the protection of fundamental human rights for all people. The exhibits in this room reflect the world of segregation in the pre-civil rights era. The TVs are playing film clips of authority figures from that time in the South, such as Lester Maddox. This exhibit is a reconstructed jail cell, a reminder of what happened to many protesters in the civil rights movement. You are now standing in the March on Washington Gallery. The video shows the March on Washington on August 28, 1963. This gallery is small, cramped, intense, and filled with emotion. It's devoted to the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., shot on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel on April 4, 1968, while in Memphis for a rally in support of striking sanitation workers. This gallery is a transition as you move from the center's civil rights exhibit areas into the human rights exhibits. The gallery you are in is called the Move Free Act Gallery. The right wall of this mezzanine is filled by a black and white photo mural. It is 36 feet long and 5 feet tall. It is called the Human Rights Defender Mural. You have now reached a gallery titled The Spark of Conviction. Here, we will explore the global human rights movement that is still in full swing today. Scattered down the center area are eight tall light boxes, each about 7 feet tall and glowing white. Each box shows the photo of a defender of human rights working today. Life-size cutouts depict the most notorious perpetrators of human rights crimes. Inside each cone, a video plays. The video in one mini theater addresses women and girls issues worldwide. Above the doorway to the Martin Luther King Jr. Gallery are the words, Voice to the Voiceless. Thank you for visiting the National Center for Civil and Human Rights.